A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke chapter 1 verses 1 to 4 and chapter 4 verses 14 to 21 Since many have undertaken to compile a narrative of the events that have been fulfilled among us just as those who were eyewitnesses from the beginning and ministers of the word have handed them down to us i to have decided after investigating everything accurately a new to write it down in an orderly sequence for you most excellent theophilus so that you may realize the certainty of the teachings you have received jesus returned to galilee in the power of the spirit and news of him spread throughout the whole region he taught in their synagogues and was praised by all he came to nazareth where he had grown up and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the sabbath day he stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet isaiah he unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor he has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind to let the oppressed to go free and to proclaim a year acceptable to the lord rolling up the scroll he handed it back to the attendant and sat down and the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him he said to them today the scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing the gospel of the lord today's gospel presents to us the inaugural address of jesus in the synagogue of nazareth he presented the core of his mission that is the total liberation of every believer jesus insisted the total liberation because he knew for certain in what ways man was in bondage as the evil powers had overtaken the life of man the opening of the preaching ministry of jesus happened on a sabbath jesus stood before the people in the synagogue of his hometown nazareth reading and interpreting what isaiah had prophesied about the messiah and his mission jesus claims that he is the one sent to bring glad tidings to the poor liberation to captives recovery of sight to the blind and freedom for the oppressed language that reflects the biblical year of jubilee to the great amazement and disbelief of his own hometown men Jesus declares that Isaiah's prophecy is being fulfilled at that very moment in your hearing because the prophecy foretells and describes Jesus own mission and ministry Jesus mission is still to give liberation to everyone who will listen to his good news accept it and put it into practice Luke reports that surprise and admiration were in the initial reaction of the people who were astonished at the power and eloquence of Jesus the son of their soil the gospel passage invites us to receive Christ's freedom leave it and pass it on to others as members of Christ's mystical body we declare and we share in the freeing saving mission of Jesus but we are captives of sin We need Christ to set us free. We are often blinded by our evil habits, addictions, and need for financial security. Once we receive true liberation from Christ, we have to share it with those we encounter in our daily lives, families, neighborhoods, parishes, and workplaces. We need to let the power of Holy Spirit fill us and then be ready to have miracles done through us. 
Today's gospel tells us that Jesus performed the miracles because he was filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us be ready to become spirit-filled instruments of Christ's saving freedom. And I pray may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.